it's really, really, really hard because you cannot have a bad grade. I don't think people realize how difficult it is. One kid gets a C in a quiz, it could cost you the national championship. When I was recruited here, Coach Thurston really stressed academics. Um, one of the big things that he talked about was that he wanted a championship. And obviously all coaches want a championship, but what was different about St. Francis was that um, Coach Thurston wanted an academic championship more so than the basketball. We did, I, I, don't, I didn't start out to say we want to win the national championship, but because the kids were so good, we got close. And once we got close, then it became the goal. We have a standards of excellence book every year, and that's our main goal. And that's a goal that we have kept each year, and that as a team, we have always want that to be our main goal, to be number one. And this past year, we finally were. When, we found, when Coach T texted us and said that we won, the, we got first place in the National GPA Championship Award, uh, it was like really exciting, because we worked so hard. And not just number one in women's basketball, and the 345 Division I women's basketball teams, but men's and women's, that's 700 teams. You take 14 kids and one player has a bad exam, a bad midterm, all right? Like in, in our case here, if you get anything less than a B plus, it's over, you don't win it. Do you know how hard that is? Hard work pays off, that was my thoughts. Having the national GPA title definitely gives you some type of swag, at least we know that we're smart, um, but now we have to prove it on the court too. I think that in the basketball world, it's, it's nice to be smart and to have everyone know that you're smart, but we do have to kind of earn that basketball cred, but it does give us a little confidence that we can be the number one in something. Well, balancing school and basketball is all a matter of time management. If you know yourself, if you know when you work better, uh, if you know you need to go to bed at this point, so you have to do homework before. You kind of need to know how you work with all the aspects. There's absolutely a correlation between performance in the classroom and on the court because the biggest thing is focus and studying too. Just like you would study your book for math class, you would study your plays for basketball. They, we have some kids that are really good at math, some kids that are really good at science, some kids that are great in psychology and history, and they, they help each other. I have a major in psychology and a minor in sociology. I'm majoring in information technology because I find it very interesting and it's very important in the world today. Uh, my major is sociology and business. Uh, I'm majoring in accounting. I want to be a social psychologist and I want to teach at the collegiate level. Um, I'd like to like get some internships, get some experience, and see if I want to work in the public firms for a little while. And then I would I might uh, minor in sports uh, management, so maybe I could work for a sports team. I want to work with people, and I love being a part of creating something. So that's like the business element. I think we're all academic MVPs. We all try really hard. There are a few of us who do maintain 4.0s every semester. I think Dana Dorenzo, a sophomore on my team, does a really good job of pushing herself. She was the valedictorian in high school. She's brilliant. She's also good at um, helping people. I've had several classes with Dana, and uh, she's, she's inspiring. They're not gonna get anything from me. I had a 3.7 one, one year in college. I had a 2.0 in the first semester and a 1.7 in the second. All right, so that's the closest I ever got to a 3.7. So they're not gonna get any, I can't give them anything. You know, we don't wake kids up in the morning to get out of bed. We don't do anything. We, we, don't, we see the grades at the end of the semester. That's all, it's all a credit to them. To defend the title, we just have to keep up the good work. I think we have a great spirit um, and we support each other. And we're smart girls, so I'm pretty sure we'll, we'll be fine.